am having. A... Uh, we're on, by the way. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I am telling everyone that I am having a headache. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. You're Miriam, co-founder and CEO of Keto Chow. I'm Chris, also co-founder, president, and the technical guy behind Keto Chow. If you're brand new to Keto Chow, it's a nutritionally complete meal designed to make doing keto easy. We also have some electrolyte supplements that are amazing for everyday use and for keeping the dreaded keto flu away. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the little bell icon for daily updates on all our Keto Chow happenings. These live streams help us be accountable and stay on track. And I am Miriam, and I have a headache. <laughs> also, we're a little bit over to one side. Are we? Uh, looks like I'm right, right in the uh, spot. Anyway, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit the little bell icon so you can get daily updates on all our Kilo Chow happenings. I said that. Uh, you didn't. That's okay. Well, maybe you did. Anyway, I think you didn't say these live streams help us be accountable and stay on track. Thanks so much for joining us on our keto journey. Uh, let's see, Betsy and Carrie are here. So is Becca and Randy. Hello. Good morning, <laughs> Becca guys. is on tablet, so having to pick up the letters one at a time. That's okay. Uh, Rhea says, good morning, all you wonderful people. Uh, let's see, WCB is here. And Hello. Gary says, good morning. Hi, Gary. Uh, Betsy says, anyone ever make 2KK's Instant Pot yogurt? Mine always yes. comes out with the consistency of cottage cheese. Um, I haven't ever had it like that. It's come out the consistency of sour cream, though. Mm -hmm. because we like to strain it for a long time because I forget about it. Yep. And then it just strains, strains, strains. So says, it, you're using an Instant Pot? Is it sealed all the way like it's supposed to be? Well, it's not supposed to be sealed all the way. But that's it's supposed to be saying. closed with the venting on. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, Sherry says, good morning, friends. Yeah, and Becca says, I can't find the right kind of milk for it. Oh, that's a bummer. Uh, but she says, always taste, it tastes all right, but it's hard to get past the consistency. Eh, that's weird. Key Life Granny is here. So is Maya and Becky. Mike says you can add water back into it to make it less thick. We like to use the like Tarani or Da Vinci mm -hmm. um, sugar-free syrups. To make it taste yummy. To make it taste yummy. And then since you're adding so much liquid in it, since we've taken all the liquid out, yep. then it makes it a little bit different. There you go. Consistency. Fanny says hi all. Pamela says good morning everyone. Blue Dev is here getting ready for a Costco trip with caramel macchiato in my Yay. coffee today. And Mike says, good morning. Uh, let's see. Q Life Granny is saying hi to people. Travis says, greetings, everyone. Maya says, Granny, that must have been scary and confusing. She lived in the UK during my mad cow disease time. Oh. So she cannot donate at all. Oh. Um, let's see. Pamela just finished a pumpkin coffee. Sonny says, good morning. Nice. My Kirchhoff licorice along with Irish cream is set to arrive today. Whoop. Whoop. So excited. What show was it? It was the, um, with the whooping snakes, uh, Abominable. Remember the whooping snakes on the <laughs> that Abominable movie? Abominable? Yeah. I remember the snakes more than the movie. <laughs> Mary Jo says that she's wearing the same shirt as Miriam today. Winning is winning. Um, Mike says platelets are little particles that are filtered out. Plasma is the liquid. Mm-hmm. Um, and plasma uh, doesn't contain any proteins, if I'm not mistaken, so... It's a universal thing that anybody can have from anybody. I think so. Lori is here. Says, good morning, you too. Randy says, Miriam, sorry, you have a headache. Feel oh, better soon. Thank you. Uh, Carrie says, hello, Chris. Miriam. Pamela says, Miriam, Hi, a headache is worse. Is the worst. God bless. Thank you. Rick Wynn is here. Suzanne says, I finally made gingerbread kio chow. Yumminess. Yay, I'm so glad you tried it. Sean says, good morning, Chris. Miriam, Melody is here. Red Wine says, hello, I'm Red Wine. Good morning from Murph, Murphy's Bro. Tennessee. Again, that's a made-up name. So cool. <laughs> Let's see. Kathy says, good morning, everyone. Uh, Rick Wynn says, oh, Miriam, I hope you're feeling better soon. Thank you. Gary says, hang in there, Miriam. Thank you. Rana says, hello, friends. I just got back from the doctor. My cholesterol is better than they expected, even for my age. And she nice. approved of Keto Chow. I took the package with me. Yay. Uh, Millie says that she loves, loves, loves the gummies. Oh. Um, that's still the first recipe if you go mm -hmm. on our site to the recipe page right now. Yep, the red licorice gummies. And I had some today covered in chocolate. Oh, okay. They were so yummy. Yeah, because we talked about that, and uh, I think Lynette went for it. Yep. Uh, let's see. Kill Life Grant says, Miriam, you're glowing for someone with a headache. Mm, thank you. <laughs> My uh, daughter last night during a discussion tried to tell me in a nice way that I have an angry resting face. <laughs> yeah. What did she say? RBM? <laughs> what is it? Um, a... It's BRF. Oh, okay. 
Well, in the the B means something else, but everybody knows what it means. But she was trying to say bad resting face or something like that. Anyway, I was like, okay. John says I was rolling, uh, scrolling through reels and ran into several keto chow TikToks. Nice. Danny says, good morning. My Valentine bundle and my licorice is supposed to be delivered today. Today, today. I noticed, I, by the way, in case you didn't see this, Miriam. Okay. So on our, if you go to shop and keto chow. Okay. This is an update that happened yesterday. All the stuff that's limited edition is now tagged limited oh, edition. Cool. And the stuff that's seasonal is tagged seasonal. Wow, wow, wow. So that's something that we changed yesterday. But I did notice that the red and black licorice don't have any reviews yet. Oh, so, man. Um, Can but, you share some reviews with us? Well, the, the issue is the, re, the request for review emails uh -huh. go out, I think it's 14 days after something ships. Ah, uh, so since to it give hasn't people been enough time. Days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah it's, it's only the 10th. So none of them have, I think, gotten back. Uh, none of the reviews have yes. come in yet. So Okay. Well, hopefully. I mean, we've had a lot of reviews on the Facebook support group and such, yeah. but yeah. Anyway, so if Marie, you like it, see and you see that email, send yep. us a review. That'd be cool. Marie says good morning. Tara says good morning as well. We'll yeah. see if Sonia says anyone tried Chipmunk Bakery cookies. I haven't tried their cookies. I have tried their bars. Uh, it says they're made with allulose. Considering ordering some for a treat every now and then. Opinion, please. The bars were okay. Um, they just, it was like nuts with some allulose. And I was like, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. I haven't tried the chipmunk, but I know that Steve from Series Keto did a review of their stuff. Yes, he did. So. Lisa says, that yogurt is so good. Mm -hmm. We haven't made that in a while. The problem is I make a bunch of it because I usually make two or three batches of it. Yep. And then... We go through the first batch, and then we go slower through the second batch. By the third batch, everybody's like, I'm tired. Yeah, they're yogurt. done with it. Jerry says, I'm having a delicious lemon blueberry keto chow for breakfast. Lemon keto chow with blueberry zip fizz. Pretty yummy. Nice. Reminds me of a lemon blueberry muffin. Speaking of, we forgot to cook to the, um, the meat last night. I know. We ran out of day. Yep. I was going to, but then we got that call at 4 o'clock. That's so right. That was our 4 to 5 call that was time to make meat. So we'll make that for dinner tonight. Taco salad. Oh, we have those chips. I know. Oh. <laughs> So exciting. And I bought salsa, too. Yeah, salsa. Anyway. And we have tomatoes, and we have lettuce, and I don't know if we have olives. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Who cares? I care. Olives are fine, but they don't feel, fill me with joy. I just like that. They don't feel me it. with joy. <laughs> Whoa. Well, hopefully not. They're an olive. Becca says uh, the serious Keto loves the, the monk pack, guys. Mm -hmm. Foley says my feedback about, jo Hi, feedback about Jordan's scary syrups. I think they're fine. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, we tend to buy the Da Vinci and the the Da Vinci more than anything else. Mm -hmm. I, the Tarani come in the glass bottle, and I'm kind of meh about that. I like yeah. the plastic bottle. The and da it's Vinci's funny because we seem to tend to go to the same ones over and over. We got the the da raspberry, Vinci, raspberry, raspberry one so much. I think I bought a four pack of that, and we've yeah, Went through it. it's gone. I think it's my favorite. Janice is here. Says good morning. And Hi, Bobby Janice. says good morning. Everyone as well. Hi, Audrey. <laughs> See, and immediately my brain started singing the song. Anyway, Sean says, This morning I'm enjoying Keto Chow gingerbread coffee. Nice. Uh, Penn says, Does anyone know if you can sub allulose for erythritol in the gummy licorice? Um, you probably could. I think you, that you can. Mm -hmm. um, oh, and so I made some and it failed. It keeps melting when I coat it in the sweetener. So Citric we acid. notice a similar thing. It doesn't melt all the way, but if you leave it out for like overnight or something, I'll on let the it counter, dry. Then it dries out and will take the uh, citric acid better. We should probably put that on the recipe to leave it out yep. because that that was the thing we noticed. Carlos says good morning. Lacey says I get my keto chow today. First time trying it. Ooh. Miriam usually recommends starting with the flavor you think you're going to like the, the least. least. And moving up from and there. And you might be pleasantly surprised. Yes. Adrian uh, says, I watched The Magic Pill. Oh, good. a good, good documentary. Yes, it yeah, was. Yeah, it was really good. Is that still on Netflix or is it on a different site now? Uh, Leanne says, I'm in the UK. Mad cow category also. Ah. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Kim says, I finally got my tarragum. Hoping for great keto chow creamy. Yay. Carlotta says, good morning. Made a keto ch the chicken cordon bleu casserole oh, last night. Oh, that's good. You need to publish a cookbook in the future. Um, we, we, have, have, we have we do recipe have cards. recipe cards and we do have um, ebooks. Mm -hmm. um, 
the problem is, uh, well, we keep on changing stuff on the recipes, and that's very difficult to do with a cookbook. Plus, it doesn't really fit into what we do. Which is? Well, um, not make a cookbook. <laughs> we make keto chow. Uh, we're, we're making a product that's easy to use, delicious, and nutritious. Now, I, I guess the cookbook kind of fits into a community that inspires, educates, and connects people to each other and to themselves. But I don't know. Um, Miriam, it bugs her when I hit that button. Anyway. Not all the time. <laughs> Not all the time. But, yeah, I don't know that a cookbook would be the best way to do it. I, I prefer to have the stuff on the website where everyone can just get it for free. Mm-hmm. And look for the different recipes they want and just grab them. So. I like cookbooks. But I yes, also don't do. use them. Yeah. So I just look at them. Denise says, good morning. I just started Keto Chow on February 1st. I'll write down nine pounds. The only thing I ordered, the starter set. There's a lot of chocolate. I cannot do chocolate. It gives me migraines. Oh, no. I'm ah. sorry. We have a lot of flavors that aren't chocolate. Mm -hmm. um, but, but keep those and share them with other people when they ask about that weird thing that you're doing. Yeah, that's <laughs> a good idea. Uh, let's see. Ronis says, good morning. Bears and Chef M. Eight days out since shipping and still no licorice or magnesium. A no! girl's got to have it. I'm sorry. Yeah, and oh, so this is interesting. In the stand-up this morning, mm -hmm. um, our customer service team said that there was a bunch of shipments that got marked as delivered to a P.O. box in Ogden, Utah. Uh, and then they showed up within a couple minutes later in like Fort Collins, Colorado, according to the tracking. Oh, no. And, but now they're starting to actually get delivered. So the U.S. Postal Service obviously had a terrible they day. They had a little one. hiccup, huh? That's a bummer. Uh, let's see. Keto Life says, I just ordered silicone molds to make um, <gasps> gummies. Carrie says, the ones are tagged must be it. All right, Sherry Maybe. says, good morning from Iowa. Jerry says, oh, I'm a gummy bear. Uh, no, we're not singing that song. Uh, Perla says, good morning. Kendra says, is there a chance that the red and black licorice will ever come back if it sells well? If it we sells well, decided. it might. Um, the red especially is just nuts. Um, but... And, and as, as it, uh, anticipated, here we go, Pop. Um, so it looks like the red is down, eh, it's about a quarter, and the black is down about a fifth. And like, like I said, as anticipated, it sold huge the first day. The, you've got those mm -hmm. early adopters that are like, I don't care what it is, I'm going to try, try it. it. And then you got the people who are waiting for else their reviews, yep. and then you've got, and so there will be. There was a massive spike at the beginning, and then it whoa dropped down really low, and then there should be a, a nice uptick. The same thing happened with gingerbread, mm -hmm. and all the other flavors mm -hmm. that we have come out with. I need to drink water. Uh, let's see. Betsy says, for keto chow pudding, do you use a stand mixer? Or is an old-fashioned handheld one? Actually, the best result is that we've ever I just gotten used is a with whisk. A, uh, an immersion blender oh, whisk. Oh, sorry, the pudding. I was thinking gummies. Yeah. Sorry, my mind. My mind it's was okay. thinking about the gummies that Lynette yeah. just gave me. When one. we go to uh, different trade shows, we'll just use the immersion blender mm -hmm. to make them up. Yep. And by we, I mean Holly. She's That's a right. pro at it. We use Holly. Blaze says, uh, "Morning Everybody from should Texas." Have a Holly. Yeah. Mike says, I try to review every time if I can. Thank nice. you. And Key Life Granny says, black licorice is in my coffee is the bomb. Yeah. Sean is making some gummies today with the red and black. Nice. Uh, Sonia says, I tried Monk Pack bars. I wasn't aware Chipmunk made bars. Yeah, Monk Pack. I think it's Monk Pack is the one I was talking about. Oh, yes. Uh, Randy says, I ordered company. my silicone molds for the gummies. Nice. nice. Friends here from Ohio. No taste or smell due to the virus in October. Is there any clean oh, extracts or flavorings sorry. you can recommend that I can add to my keto chow? Yes. Uh, one on one flavors mm -hmm. makes a bunch that are fantastic. You can also get the Olive Nation ones. Mm -hmm. um, and, and then um, the Da Vinci Tirani and skinny syrups, all of those syrups. Yeah, what's the other ones? Loran. Loran oils. Yeah, those all work really and well. And you probably would use more than. Maybe what's recommended since yeah, you, have you don't have a lot smell. of taste and smell. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Jerry says the lemon blueberry mix. Um, I have this also as a creamy in the freezer. The combo is nice. so tasty. Betsy says I, I like I that. Need to do that. Mike says I like Tarani because they have more fruit flavors. Mm. Okay. 
Oh, and uh, Gil like Granny says it took about six months for my taste and smell to return completely. Uh, Mimi says, hello, everyone. Lost track of the time. Well, we're welcome you're here. We're welcome. We're glad. Ah, welcome. <laughs> Lisa says, good morning. Tried the black licorice creamy this morning. I'm normally more team black licorice, but I think the red licorice keto chow is better. Okay. Yes. Debbie is here. Um, well, this is my brain cues up songs based on trigger words as well. Mm -hmm. um, oh, Adrian says, I watched it on the Roku channel. Oh, cool. The, the magic pill. That's awesome. That's awesome. And uh, next movie, if you guys haven't watched this, is Fathead Kids. Fathead Kids is it's really, really good. It's a really, really good one. And the Fathead movie is good, too, if you're an adult. But, you know. I'm adult. Fathead Kids is a really, it's a cartoon. It's so cute. I don't know that that one's available for free. I think that you have to. I don't know where it is. You just have is, to pay for it on uh, Prime. But it's worth it. Yeah. It's so good. Well, let's see. Carrie wants chicken cordon bleu ice cream. Chicken cordon bleu casserole is really good. That's on our website yes, as well in our I recipes. Love that one. Uh, watch B, uh, WCB says made my first keto chow order last night and can't wait to try the black and red licorice. You're starting off with those. That's a bold oh, move. Oh wow, wow, wow! <laughs> Most people start off with the chocolate because chocolate is unless the it best. gives you headaches. Yeah, it's especially if you mix it up hot. Mm. The chocolate hot. I'm is gonna go really make good. some of that because I didn't bring any food today. Oh, I have a chocolate peanut butter in the fridge. Oh, for me to taste? Yeah, it's the one that I use Make to... Make it up hot. Because um, every time we get a new batch in, mm -hmm. we have to test it to make sure that it is right. And then it tastes like the old batch. So this morning I actually tested out the uh, chocolate mint, a mm. new batch of that, and compared it to an old batch of chocolate mint, and yeah, it matched up. Um, and But then I left those at home because Haley and her thing about chocolate oh. mint. So she's going to go to the fridge and go... Oh, mine? Was that the bag, the test bag that you left on the counter this morning? I did not leave a test bag on the counter this morning. I put it in the cupboard. So There was a test bag last night. Oh, yeah, but this morning when I left, I picked it up and said, I don't want this on the counter, and put it in the cupboard hmm. with a bunch of singles. Oh, and it was over by the singles? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that was probably that one. Um, I just almost brought it, and I'm like, oh, we'll probably need nah, it. No, we don't need it. Penn says, I'm on day three of letting the gummies dry, and they are still they still melt. I just need to eat them immediately. Such a problem. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Cindy says, thanks so much for the many easy free recipes. Lady Smith says, good morning. Um, good morning, good morning. Good My morning. order came in enjoying a snickerdoodle coffee. Pat says, I agree. Online recipes are easier to keep updated as new ingredients come on the scene, like allulose. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, this is recipe cards are like a cookbook, but easier to use. Mike yeah. says, I found out there's no school the week of Keto Salt Lake. <gasps> so we're going to try to arrive for the meetup on Thursday. Yes. So for those of you who don't know, there is, or, or well, Miriam and Chris Baer, nothing to do with Keto Chow, is hosting a conference in Salt Lake City on April 15th and 16th. Mm -hmm. So, and the day before, so on Thursday the 14th, there's going to be a meetup here at the Keto Chow storefront. That's being hosted by Keto Chow. Yes. We don't know them. Oh, wait, wait, sweetie. At 7 o'clock p.m. At 7 o'clock p.m. Sean says USPS needs to have some Keto Chow, right? Um, let's see. Shauna wants both black. Please bring back. Why would we bring them back when they're still here? <laughs> How can I miss you if you won't go How away? How can I miss you if you won't? <laughs> Randy says, if you're waiting to order red and black licorice, order it. I like both of them. My two cents worth. Thank Maya you. says, I'm finishing my green tea, but I'm also so ready for my coffee. Randy says, it's going to sell out before I can get to taste it, and I know I need to order some. Oh, uh, Lisa says, says, my order to arrive UPS. Thank you very much. Hashtag the brown track. Um, Mike says, I'm going to order more black, red and black licorice for sure. Yay. Uh, Mike says, I feel all off. And Joanne is wishing everyone a happy day from Florida. You know what we need to say? We need to what? tell everybody about the info stack in case they weren't here oh, yeah. the last couple of days. In case, oh, because. So is see, it today the to last the day page, so we'll just go of to homepage. the lower price? Scroll, yeah. scroll, scroll. Should tell the my ultimate phone keto now. deal. Yes. So we're partnering with a company called InfoStack, and they have uh, got this deal together with a bunch of awesome keto people, including us. And what we're offering is the classic go pack that we had yep. uh, for Black Friday. Black Friday for well, free. so it's it's a hundred dollars worth of keto chow plus the other stuff, mm -hmm. but it's forty nine dollars right now. But if you wait t until tonight to buy it. At midnight um, 
Eastern time, they it, the price is actually going to go up to $67. Yep. So you want to buy it now if you're going to buy it. Yep. So and you can find that just on our homepage. Just scroll down a bit, and it's right there. Um, so, so yeah, a lot of cool programs. It's mostly eBooks and program stuff, but but even for the keto um, show, it's worth it. Yeah. Yep. So it's cool. It's been fun. Uh, let's see. Dr. Matreya says, "Hi, awesome people. I'm at oh. a convention center doing lots of lifting. Thanks, wow, keto wow, Chow. Wow. I would starve. Oh boy. Peggy says, going to make the red licorice gummies with an old Jello." G Be Jello jelly bean mold. Nice. Hey, that's perfect. Tanya is here. Says allergies have me a bit wife and enjoying pumpkin spice caramel in my coffee. Love the spices. Um, Shauna says I picked up pistachio oil that I use with the pistachio keto chow. Nice. Mike pointed out that uh, I think he said Tarani's skinny syrup makes a pistachio syrup. So that's interesting. Uh, Shearson says hi bears. What conference is that? Hello, so, Keto Salt Lake. I'll we'll just go to in well. April. I'll go to lowcarbevents.com. Okay. Where you can find them all. So, hey, they're in, what, this Next Saturday, week. there's oh. one in Raleigh. Let's go to that real quick. Uh, there's Low Carb Atlanta that's going to be February 19th. Mm. There's a virtual only Keto Summit okay. on February 25th. Cool, cool. And here you got Low Carb Keto Salt Lake. And that is going to be April 15th it's and 16th. It's in person. It is in person. In downtown Salt Lake. And I updated this yesterday. So Yay. it has all of the speakers. So I added David Harper, Rachel and Joe Stoffer, Dr. Mark Kukazella, and Nurse Cindy Miller. And you can click on their names and see their bios. Except for Nurse Cindy. For whatever reason, because, I don't have uh, her bio. we didn't get it from her yet. I even updated <laughs> Dr. Rigby because he has a new bio now. Yeah. Why isn't it centered? That's weird because it's a smaller photo off to the side. Uh, anyway. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's, Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, let's see. Uh, Debbie says, how much gelatin do you put in a keto chow to make them thicker? So one teaspoon makes it thicker. Mm -hmm. Two teaspoons makes it pudding. Three two teaspoons makes it jello. Yep. Uh, Shauna says, so many hats, Chris and Miriam. Uh, Danny says, is keto chow safe for dogs? Um, I, we do not have a good answer for that because we don't have dogs don't and have I don't know dogs. enough about dogs. I would not give it to your dog, but I have heard of plenty of people who have that their dogs like go nuts and and You know what you could do? Take it to your vet. Yep. And say if my dog has what has the taste of this, is it harmful for them? Yep. But I would <laughs> I would recommend until that point don't let your dogs have it. Just in case. Yep. So let's see, Cynthia says, loving this product. How can we prevent ice cream from becoming a big block when we put it in the freezer? Anything we can mm -hmm. add to help prevent that? So no. use tarragum will help it some, but it's, you, once it's mixed up, you need to eat it immediately. It's because it has so much water in it mm -hmm. that it just is an ice cube, Yep. Um, which we know that. And the thing is, if you, if you do make it and just stick it in there, you can stick it on the counter for like, I don't know, a half an hour, and then you can kind of chip away at it, and it's still pretty good. Yep. So there you go. And we did do a review of a whole bunch of different ice cream makers mm -hmm. just before the Ninja Creamy came out, Yeah. <laughs> which was great. Um, but we have the best success with the Ninja Creamy, just so that you know. Yep. We do um, have a compressor ice cream maker that we like, too. Yep. And Betsy that says, you can just pour into it, and it, ta it takes like a half an hour, but it's kind of nice. Uh, Betsy says, I got my info stack yesterday. Couldn't wait. Piggy had uh, some ordered wrong, waiting for a refund. Uh, Rita says, I really want that, but don't have any funds right now. Then don't buy it. Yep. Have to travel at the end of the month to bury my husband. I'm oh, so sorry no, to hear that. Oh, no, Rita, I'm sorry. Lance says, I already purchased the info stack. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Holly says, good morning, my friends. Uh, Rita says, oh, yeah, back to he's talking to Rita. Uh, good news, Kyo says, I just got my Kyo Lifestyle 4.0, mostly for the Kyo Chow. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, let's see, Marie had the black licorice yesterday. Today I'm making red licorice. Uh, let's see, and Mimi says, yeah, InfoStack has not, has not been really user-friendly. Oh, yeah. Uh, thank heavens, Keto Chow is so generous for giving us the Keto Chow. Yep, um, Maya says, there's nothing poisonous to pups in it. Well, that's, that's what Maya says, but again, I, we do not recommend giving it to anything except for adult humans. Yep. Uh, let's see. Jerry says, but then how can we not sing who let the dogs out, right? 
<laughs> Betsy says chocolate is poisonous to dogs. Yes, but not all uh, flavors of keto chow have chocolate. In it. Even the chocolate toffee does not have actual chocolate. In yep, it. but chocolate and. But chocolate there are other everything. things. There's a lot of sodium and potassium. Yep. And I do not care to know enough about the physiology of dogs to be able to tell you definitively. Plus, that's a liability issue. I'm not going to tell you to give it to your dogs. Play it safe, brother. Yep. <laughs> Cynthia says, I saw the review. That was awesome. Maya says, well, I didn't think I had to mention it, but yeah, you're probably right to reiterate not to feed chocolate to dogs. Now, there isn't any xylitol in keto chow. I can't tell that's you that true. definitively. That is true. And xylitol is a bad the, thing It for dogs. disrupts the uh, glucose cycle in dogs. Like, Yikes. it's really bad. Um, Janice says, if you mix chocolate keto chow with butter put in the creamy, do you have to add anything else? I do recommend using tarragum if you had it. I it's forgot still good to do that tarragum, in though. the last batch I made. It's absolutely fine without it. I've totally been enjoying it. But it does make it a little bit better. More creamy. Yep. Shauna says, no chocolate in chocolate toffee. That's correct. There is chocolate flavoring, but there's no actual chocolate. Well, and it's, it's kind of funny. If you go to our website, well, or rather, you go to Google and you Google, yeah, Google. Whoop, 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 whoop. keto chow caffeine. Keto chow caffeine. Does keto chow contain caffeine? Hey, look, we got an FAQ. Mocha is the only flavor of keto chow with added caffeine. Mm -hmm. It also has instant coffee and cocoa powder. In total, it has about 110 milligrams of caffeine per serving. It actually lists out caffeine, 95 milligrams, on the ingredients. Yep. Uh, here are the other keto chow flavors that contain trace amounts of caffeine. So chocolate and chocolate peanut butter have about 2.3 milligrams of caffeine. Well, sorry, 9.2 milligrams of caffeine total okay. because of the 4 grams of cocoa powder. Chocolate mint has 1.5 grams of cocoa powder, so that's about 3.45 milligrams of caffeine. No other flavors contain ingredients with caffeine. Chocolate toffee does not contain any cocoa powder. Neither caramel macchiato nor Irish cream contain any coffee, which nor contain any caffeine. Only flavoring. Yay! In case you wanted to know. Um, let's see. Tristan says, any thoughts of expanding the egg white protein to include flavors? No, currently it's just egg white protein. Mm -hmm. But you can add it to your keto chow. You, you absolutely can. Protein. Yep. But you probably want to mix it. Because shaking yep. it, I've done it and it works okay, but... I, I was really careful how I shook it. So Janice wants to know, where do you get tarragum? Uh, you could get it on Amazon until mm -hmm. it's sold out. They probably have it restocked now. It's T-A-R-A. -A. Like Coach Tara. Yep. Uh, Dorothy says, good morning, running late. A modernist pantry has some. And Serious Keto mm -hmm. has a video where he talks about adding keto uh, tarragum to Keto Chow, and he has some affiliate links there. Because it's his recipe... I would actually recommend finding his video mm -hmm. and using his links. Yep. So, Diane says, I'm a newbie and would like to reset and only have Kyo Chow for a week or two. What's the best way to have it so I feel like I'm not missing anything else? I don't know about have it so you're not f missing anything else. Like, that's a psychology schedule, thing. Schedule stuff know. that you don't have to feel like you're missing out. Yeah. So, I'll be like, okay, if there's a birthday party, then I'm going to make sure it's after my two-week thing or yeah. whatever. Uh, Dorothy says, yeah, yeah, good morning, running late, but not running. Uh, absorbing electrolytes and minerals in coffee and keto chow. Cookies and cream keto chow. Woke up with a headache, but all good now. Did you, have you taken electrolytes? No, I just walked in the door. Oh, okay. Um, uh, Shauna forgot to lick the lid. Now I have keto chow gingerbread on my uh, cheek. I usually get it on my forehead. Yeah, or I get it on my nose. Mm -hmm. uh, Patsy says, I add cocoa to my chocolate toffee, mm -hmm. so mine does have chocolate in it. That's right. Jessica says, I just started three shakes a day yesterday. I wasn't hungry, so I didn't eat anything else. Should I force myself to eat more protein or look into adding protein to my shakes? You do need more protein, but if you're very full, I'd recommend dropping the amount of fat, fat that you're adding mm -hmm. so that you can get some more protein. Also, have you calculated how much protein you need? Because that will help to yep. make sure that you get the right amount of protein. My personal favorite way to get some extra protein is just with a can of salmon. Mm -hmm. It's, Miriam thought she wasn't going to like it. I like it. And turns out she does with a bunch of salt on it. Mm -hmm. With your transparent bottle. <laughs> does it show through my face? Yeah, it totally does. Ooh, My always lick the lid first. Um, 
Betsy says, can I use xanthan gum in the creamy? Uh, in Steve with Serious Keto's video, he it talks about trying that. Too. It doesn't work as well. Um, Terra gum is different than all the other ones he yeah, tried. Yeah, it's magic. Mike says, dogs can eat decaying meat but can't handle people food. I, I'm not going to recommend that you give <laughs> stuff to your dogs because I don't want your dog to die and you to go, well, Chris said I could do it because I did not say that. <laughs> um, Patty says, enjoying some strawberry keto chai ice cream for lunch. The hand-cranked ice cream maker is a good big, a bit of exercise. Yeah, and you got to switch your hands. Out. Uh, Shauna says, I hold my blender bottle sideways. Uh, Betsy says, I just got my first egg white protein. Um, Betsy says, can I really use that in creamy? Can you use what? The tear gum? I, I don't know. Lydia Smith says, I thought today was Friday. Need more fat. Hashtag retirement. Uh, Ren says, I found that locust bean gum works well in ice cream. And Sean says, Miriam has a magic water bottle. Marie wants to know, does egg white powder affect the taste of keto chow? Nope. Unless you put too much of it in. I'm sure it could. Yeah. Uh, Danny says, sorry I opened that can of Alpo. <laughs> well, no, it's I fine. It's a fine. good question, and we get it asked... People ask it fairly often. We should probably mm -hmm. create an FAQ about yeah, it. Yeah, we should. The, uh, the, the short answer is, we don't know. Best to ask a uh, um, veterinarian. A dog doctor. Well, it's, it's, that's the same question about, the uh, same answer with, can I give keto chow to my children? We give it to our children. But that's our choice. But if you want to determine if you can give it to your child, then like any food that you're considering giving mm -hmm. to your child, like macaroni I'm cheese, saying that sarcastically, chicken nuggets. you would, of course, take it to your pediatrician and have a discussion about, with them about the nutrition of the food, like chicken nuggets. Because we all always consult our pediatrician before feeding our children ice cream or cake. That's right. We all do. <laughs> but legally, keto, I have to say, keto chow is not indicated for use by children, nursing, or pregnant mothers. Mm -hmm. Please consult your doctor. Uh, Bob says, good morning. While I like actual black licorice, over the red, I was surprised to find the opposite with Isn't a keto chow. Isn't that funny? That's so funny. It's awesome. Yep. Um, okay, anyway. Anything else that you wanted to talk about this morning? You yeah. got some... I got my heart. Yeah. We should start with these tomorrow. Today is the 10th. Today is the 10th. Well, what are three things you're thankful for? There's, there's your challenge for today. What are three things you're grateful for? Okay. Right? Uh, gratitude can have profound effects on the general well-being, including better sleep and increased resilience. It can also trigger the release of oxytocin, a hormone. Not oxycontin. That's not it. Yep. Oxytocin. Oxytocin. That's the good stuff. A hormone that is crucial to bonding. What does it mean for you and your partner? When you express gratitude to each other, you're improving your relationship on a chemical and biological level. Okay. So I guess if you want to uh, um, make your relationship better, you should be thankful for them. Yeah, you should express your thanks for the things they do. Thanks, honey, for the things you do for me. I took Sam to school. Also... <laughs> Improve your relationship with yourself and be mm -hmm. thankful for three things that you do. Okay. Me do. Okay, here's a couple of hearts. Here we go. That I am a talented baker. Ooh, and there's a little cake right here. Awesome. We love people that cook. And this person is kind. I think everybody here is kind, so that was a win-win. And... Oh, I love my cute smile. Okay. Yay. One more. Okay, I am, I'm compassionate. Okay. Yay. Our employees are amazing. We just really appreciate them. Right. And I'm glad that they're able to pull something that they love about themselves onto these hearts for me. Um, Tonya had a good question. Now, this is actually one that we answered in yesterday's live stream. I'm uh -huh. happy to answer it again. Okay. Uh, why do some flavors have sunflower oil? And savory have natural flavors and canola oil, palm oil. Okay, so the a lot of the flavors of keto chow are made with what's called uh, plating. It's where they take acacia gum powder and they put the uh, flavoring, the liquid flavoring oils and stuff and concentrates onto that to make it into a powder because mm -hmm. we need to get it in a powder form. The other way that you can turn a liquid 
flavor into a powder is to spray dry it. And as part of that process, they have to clean out the nozzles and lubricate the nozzles and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So they have to use an edible oil that's been approved by the FDA for inclusion in food. That process, typically, unless you stomp your feet and remember that they're going to do it using mm -hmm. canola oil, they will use canola or sunflower oil to clean the nozzles. The actual powder itself doesn't contain that, but it could contain that traces, traces of it. Mm -hmm. And so that is why the, well, the, the, the ingredients on some of them, the ones that use spray drying, say that they have canola oil or sunflower oil because it's used as part of the the start of the process. I'm in the I'm in the works to get all those replaced by MCT oil. Mm -hmm. I just a big thing of flavorings right there. That's all the ones I need to test. Wow, that's a lot. The problem is people keep on scheduling meetings during my product development. Well, stuff. you got to just not go to that meeting. Yeah. Anyway, um, so yeah, legally it's a small enough amount that we don't have to declare it mm -hmm. on the ingredients. But we are open, honest, and fun. More fun. We should be So more we fun. are honest about it. And s it, hey, it's on there. Even though legally we don't have to put it on there. Yep. Yeah, soon enough it'll be gone. Is it a significantly, is it enough of it to cause a metabolic difference? I would contend no. Uh, you're probably talking less than a milligram of potential exposure to that. And if you have had um, ranch or salad dressing That's in the last like month, then Unless you, made it you yourself. really don't need to worry about it. Miriam made some ranch mm -hmm. that was fan freaking tastic. Yeah, and we got to eat and it. Used before like it goes sour bad. cream and stuff. That was really good. Yeah. And buttermilk. Yep. Um, really but if milk? though, if if you are absolutely making sure that you don't have any exposure to sunflower oil or canola oil, I would recommend that you not consume any of the flavors of keto chow that contain those ingredients. Yep. Blaine says, greetings keto, keto warriors. Looks like I'm catching the end. Yes, you are. John says, there goes the FedEx truck. Mm -hmm. um, let's see, people saying hi to Blaine. Uh, Mike saying, meetings, meetings, meetings. Kendra says, again, this is why I love keto chow. Debbie says, I have to put on my calendar calendar items on my calendar to block time if I want to get any work yep. done. All right. And Tony says, thank you. I hope I didn't over overwhelm you with that answer. So, all right. Well, we are going to take off. Yep. Everybody, thanks for, thanks for joining us this morning. Have a good day. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Bye. Bye.